In section 2.4, there's just one concept that I'd like to go over as you're doing more of your properties of equality and you're using multi-step. So perhaps you have to use distribution, you have to use order of operations, um, you have to combine like terms. There might be multiple things that you have to do. And so chapter uh, 2.4 just gives more examples, more problems of the, the same concepts that we've already been covering together. However, there's one new thing that I'd like to just cover with you. And I will assign a couple problems in the homework to demonstrate um, these concepts. So sometimes, you know, up until now, we've been working with what we call a conditional equation, where when you solve it, x or y or your variable, whatever variable you're using, is going to equal one thing, meaning there's only one condition where that equation is going to be true, and you're solving to find that one condition. So x is going to equal negative 3, or x is going to equal 1.2, or x is going to be... Um, a negative one-fourth. So you're solving for what that variable can equal to make that equation true. But there's two other types of equations that could arise. You have identity and contradiction. So sometimes when you're working through, you're doing your properties of equality and you're combining like terms and you're trying to get everything together, you're, you might end up with something like x plus 3 equals x plus 3. And if you were to get to once you get something like this, you you could use your properties of equality and work through this if you wanted to, and I'll I'll do that in just a minute. Um, but once you get something like this, where it's exactly the same on one side as it is on the other, this is called an identity equation. And basically, what that means is no matter what you put in for x, no matter what you pick, it'll work. You could pick a negative one point two. You could pick a positive three. You could pick a negative one fourth. It doesn't matter what number you work. There's an infinite amount of solutions. So if I pick 1, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 1 plus 3 equals 4. If I pick a negative 1, a negative 1 plus 3 equals 2, a negative 1 plus 3 equals 2, so 2 equals 2. So no matter what you pick, it'll work. X can equal anything, so all real numbers would be the solution for that one. And then you have something like this, where you have a contradiction. And this is um, where you have x plus 3 and x minus 1, uh, where you get the variable on both sides, but you're adding or subtracting different numbers. And that means that no matter what you do, there will never be a solution. It'll never work. Okay, and we'll de like I said, we'll demonstrate both of these in just a, a moment. But no matter what I put here, it'll never work here. So that's a contradiction equation. If I put one here, one plus three equals four. If I put one here, one minus one equals zero. Four does not equal zero. So no matter what I put, any real number I put there, it won't work. So let's go ahead and just work through these real briefly. If I were to subtract three from both sides, that would give me, these would cancel out on both sides and that would just give me x equals x. So it could be any number you want. If we come over here, if I subtract, um, let's see, subtract three, yeah. And then I'm gonna subtract three. That would cancel out. I would have x equals, and then negative one and negative three equals four. x equals a negative four. So we're not quite proving it yet. But you can kind of see that x is never going to equal x minus 4, no matter what you put in for x. But this is what we're going to do. This is a positive x. So let's subtract x from both sides. x minus x equals 0. So this is going to cancel out. These will cancel out. The only thing we're left with on the other side is a negative 4. So basically you're coming up with 0 equals negative 4, and that is not true. So there are a couple different types of equations, and again, these are super simplified um, versus the ones that you'll see in the book. You'll have to do multiple steps to get to this point. Um, but just be aware that there are different types of answers to equations. Sometimes you're not going to find a real answer. Sometimes you're going to find all the real answers. Um, and then most of the time, we're just going to be finding one answer. Um, so again, conditional identity and contradiction equations.